Welcome to the homework for lesson six. This is module seven of grade three. Name first, please, before you do anything else so you don't forget it. And we're using a ruler and a right angle tool to help you draw the figures with the given attributes below. So if you have a ruler that has a, a square end, then uh, th that's your right angle tool. Or if you want, you can use the corner of an envelope. That'll work. Or a corner of a postcard. Uh, use So a triangle that has no right angles. So a lot of different triangles will fit that description. I'm going to try to make this a skinny one. But it doesn't have to be. as long as you don't have a right angle. And now a quadrilateral that has at least two right angles. So what I'm going to use is I'm actually using the end of my ruler. And I'm just tracing around the outside of the end of my ruler. And that's going to give me a square, a right angle there. And a right angle here. And it doesn't have to be a rectangle or a square. It just has to have four sides and two right angles. So that's why I've got a trapezoid here. Those are the right angles, right? And then these are the two parallel. You don't have to draw these arrows, but those are the two parallel sides that make it a trapezoid. Draw a quadrilateral with two equal sides. And label the two equal side lengths of your shape. So this is where you really need to have a ruler because you have to show, you have to know how long the sides are. Uh, quadrilateral, two equal sides. All right, so let's go with. That's five centimeters. I'm going to make another side that's five centimeters. And then two more sides that don't have to be five. And it's going to turn out almost like a kite because these are almost equal, but they're not quite. So these are five centimeters and five centimeters. And, and you could draw all kinds of quadrilaterals as long as it just has two equal sides. Rect uh, rectangle would work. Uh, square would work. Doesn't have to be a named shape. Uh, parallelogram would be fine too. Draw a hexagon with at least two equal sides and label the two equal sides of your shape. Okay, so a hexagon just has to have six sides. That's one, and uh, that's going to be three centimeters. And that's another three centimeters. And now the other sides, um, I just need, I need uh, four more sides. And they can be any length. One. Two. three, and then one more to close the shape. Oops. 
the hazards of using a ruler to draw on a touch screen. Four. And now a pentagon with at least two equal sides. So same kind of thing. At least two. It means you could have more than two. That's three centimeters. And that's three centimeters. And now I just need three more sides. That one's also three centimeters. One, two, three. And now I just need to make a side here. And another one here. Close the shape. Christina describes her shape. She says it has three equal sides that are each four centimeters in length. It has no right angles. Do your best to draw Christina's shape and label the side lengths. Well, we don't know is that we don't even know how many sides it has, do we? Three equal sides. That are, I mean, this could be... This could be really almost any shape, couldn't it? Three equal sides that are each four centimeters in length. It has three... So um, the way I'm reading this now is I'm thinking this is a, it has three equal sides. It doesn't have any other sides. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go with that and say I'm going to draw three sides that are each four centimeters long. Which means it's going to have to be a triangle if it's got three sides. If it's three equal sides, that makes it an equilateral triangle. So there it is. Um, that's your uh, equilateral triangle or perhaps a regular triangle. Um, they're not, it's, it can be tricky to try and figure out how to get, once you draw the first line, the first side, it can be hard to figure out how to get the other two to, to touch each other so that they meet and it, and it, and it makes a regular triangle. Um, one of the tricks that you can try to do for this is that Try to think of, if this is four, make a mark that's about halfway in the middle. Right there. Just a little mark like that. It shows you where the middle of that line is. Because that's where, if you draw a line, it's going to be straight up from there. And you don't have to draw all this stuff. These are just hints for how to get your equilateral triangle to come out right. That's where your other two sides are going to touch. So that can help you figure out where to put your, uh, how, where to draw your other two sides so that they can meet each other and close the triangle.